Hi, welcome to Learning to Teach. In this video, I will explain what constructive alignment means and why it is such a big deal in lesson planning. Before going into the definition of constructive alignment, we must first understand what learning is. Learning is a process of constructing meaning. This understanding is underpinned by the constructivist learning theory. This theory postulates the idea that knowing and how one comes to know is by meaning making and constructing realities through activities, practice and experience. Hence, learning is an active behavior. This means that the role of the teacher is not to impart or transmit knowledge, but a catalyst who designs learning opportunities. Now that we're on the same page about learning, let's look at constructive alignment. Constructive alignment is a model proposed by Professor John Bates, where we align learning outcomes, teaching and learning activities, and assessment tasks. This model can be applied when designing a program, a subject, or a lesson. The term alignment here refers to what the teacher does. The first step is to define the intended learning outcomes. In a way, we need to declare and communicate what we want our students to learn. You can read about the domains of learning to understand more about the different areas of learning. When writing learning outcomes, we need to be clear about the levels of learning we want our students to achieve. In doing so, it may be helpful to refer to the different taxonomies of learning in the appropriate domains. The next step is to design assessment tasks. Essentially, we need to determine how the outcomes will be assessed before we determine the kind of activities to help students achieve these outcomes. Although assessment is usually at the end of the teaching learning sequence of events, teachers should really think about assessment and the success criteria first in order to direct the process of learning towards the same goal. In choosing your learning activities, make sure to give students opportunities to engage in the process rather than passively listening. It is important to consider the type and suitability of the activities as we need to ensure that the activities support the diverse needs of students as well as the intended outcomes. The reason why constructive alignment is important is that it is used for curriculum development and lesson planning. This model supports the principles of assessment to ensure effective outcome-based learning. To learn more about constructive alignment, watch Professor John Dick's keynote about assessment in a constructively aligned system. You can find the link in the description below. In my next video, I'm going to show you a few examples of a constructively aligned lesson and a few examples of misalignment. Thank you for watching.